A woman discovers her beloved horse dead, shot five times near her Mason County home. Local 12's Anjanette Levy spoke with her about the brutal killing. When I came down here and saw her, I mean, I just, I couldn't believe it. The last three days have been excruciatingly painful for Brandy Courtney Mauricio. Over the weekend, her husband discovered her beloved Tennessee walker, Gypsy Rose, shot to death in her pasture. Well, I've had her for 20 years, you know, and she was just, she was a big baby, you know. And I, I just can't imagine being without her because I've had her all this time. Gypsy Rose was 24, but Brandy says she was in good shape and had many years to live. She last saw her eating near her hay ring as she drove away from her home Saturday afternoon. She believes Gypsy was shot sometime between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. Saturday. Around noon, we started hearing shots, but it's not uncommon for us to hear gunshots around here because everybody around here has guns and they, they target practice. Brandy's husband found Gypsy Rose laying dead in the field Sunday morning. The Mason County Sheriff is investigating Gypsy Rose's death. He says she was shot at least five times with a high powered rifle. You know, somebody is just sick and deranged and just doesn't have a heart at all. And I just could not imagine he would do something like that. Brandy believes the shots were fired from a hollow near her property. She spent hours looking for evidence that could lead her to the shooter. I just pray to God that we find out who's done this and that they will be. Punished and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. In Mason County, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. If you have any information about who shot and killed Gypsy Rose, call the Mason County Sheriff's Office.